So I wanted to share some drills if you are brand, brand new to pitching. And you know, when we're brand new to any skill, especially a complex one that involves a lot of different movements and a lot of calibration, is just simplifying the drill and letting ourselves get accustomed to the positioning our body needs to be in for the pitch so that when we stand up and we throw that pitch full force, everything's calibrated and where we want it to be. So if you are brand new to pitching, your daughter is brand new to pitching, one of the things I recommend is instead of trying to, you know, jump right into all these fancy drills with standing, with leg, with this and that, take the legs out of the equation and do your drills that way to start. So one common drill that I certainly like to teach that a lot of other instructors do too is just really getting that wrist snap going. So instead of standing with the wrist snap drill, I always like to start with my new pitchers just feeling that wrist snap and really being able to isolate the wrist from a kneeling position. So all that you would do is flip that to your catcher. And again, we're taking the legs out of the equation. We don't have to worry about them yet. We're isolating that. The next drill that I always like to instruct that also serves very well from a kneeling position. We would take a few steps back for this drill, and this is the T drill. So, same thing, I'm doing this T drill, taking my legs out of the equation. I'm really able to focus on where my upper body is. I've got my, my back hand behind, not too far behind my head, but just right along that alleyway that I'm clearing out. My gloves facing my catcher, pointing straight at my catcher, and all I'm doing Again, legs out of the equation. Let's focus on that arm path. We'll get the legs in the mix thereafter. The next drill that works great from the kneeling position, again, I would scoot a few steps back. And now I like to do a windmill drill. So all I'm doing here is I'm pointing my glove at my catcher. I'm coming up and around and nice and easy feeling that windmill motion and keeping that pathway nice and cleared with my legs out of the way to make sure that my arm path is right where I want it to be. So I'm just gonna look like this. Nice and easy. So again, just a great practice. Take your legs out of the equation, do the snaps, do the T drill, do that windmill drill from your knees. And then once you're advancing and, and feeling confident and comfortable with those drills from the kneeling position, then you can do those exact same drills from a standing position and slowly incorporate that leg drive. I've got a video I'll um, add in the notes of that those drills standing, but I think this is a great place to start as a newbie pitcher. Good luck.